Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is October 1st and this is my weekly shop update. So, pretty good week for me this week. Got a lot of things done. Yesterday, my friend Steve, who I did the apple pressing with last fall, came over and we spent a few hours making a couple more of those apple presses. It was, I didn't film any of it because I've already done a video about it and it was just really nice to be out here doing some woodworking and not being a video producer. So it was kind of nice just to be a woodworker for just a few hours, just kind of running through things. Uh, we sold the press that I made last year, so we're making a couple more just to replace that one so we can still do some pressing in the coming few weeks because it was a lot of fun last year. And uh, I tell you what, these are, these are pretty fun to make because there's not a whole lot like f as far as complexity goes and they go together pretty quickly and they are pretty substantial. So I have all the uprights behind me here the fronts and the rears, and then I have all of the the square stock for all the rest of the uh, the structure over here. And the only thing I left to do is just to drill the holes through all of the cross pieces, and then this, these, well, and then those things are done. So really quick uh, thing to put together. <laughs> but besides that, I got a whole bunch of work done on the high boy this week. So this week I finally got started on the upper case. So I had the panels for that that I had milled up a few months ago and I got those milled down through final dimensions and got those glued up into the final panels for the case. And then from there, those four panels, the top, bottom, and the two sides, get dovetailed together. Those are through dovetails. And I'm pretty sure I haven't done through dovetails, especially like on a case that large, in years. Someone will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't done that in a long time. So that's kind of nice to get back into doing some of that. So something I did a little differently with this case is I did both tails first and pins first just to kind of demonstrate the difference between the two techniques and how it's kind of different at the scale of a large uh, case. And then once the case is all dovetailed together, I could put in the drawer dividers and those get installed using a sliding dovetail and I have a front divider and a rear divider to kind of complete the whole framework of the case. And because I did a hand cut sliding dovetail on the lower case, I'm doing a router based sliding dovetail on the upper case. So here is where the high boy is at right now. I managed to get the upper case here sitting on top of the lower case. And this is probably going to be the only time I'll be able to do this because once I add the scroll board on top, that's going to add another 12 inches or so to the top case here. And it's going to be into the ceiling at that point. So I'll never see them together finished in the shop, just like when I built the secretary desk. <laughs> but the next couple things on the upper case, just to kind of wrap up the framework for the drawers, is to add the runners, and those get uh, Morse and tenon between the two uh, drawer dividers, so those will be in there like that. And there's also a false bottom that goes on here, so that's really easily just a, this is it, yeah. So this just gets, gets cut to size to fit between the two sides, and that'll get glued down to the bottom panel. And um, yeah, I think from here, it's about to become a lot less of a, you know, regular old chest of drawers kind of setup and a lot more Queen Anne because at this point, this is exactly what you would build if you were just building a, you know, basic chest of drawers. You would maybe add a top on this, add, add some molding, add some kind of base to the, the case and then you'd be done. But uh, now we start ornamenting things. So it gets that bonnet top, the finials, uh, all the scroll board stuff, and um, yeah, should be pretty interesting now. A lot of fun little details after all this case work. <laughs> so, that's about it for me in the shop this week. Let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week is a Luthier's Palm Plane by Steve. Steve designed and built this plane for his future attempt at making an arch top guitar. The project allowed him to do some metal working to make the knurled thumb screw and wedge slash chip breaker. He also learned to harden, temper, and form the tool steel blade. I got to meet Steve this summer at AWFS. He's a really cool guy. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. Next this week is a mallet by George. The head of the mallet is made from Sucupera and the handle is beechwood. The head was cut with a handsaw and sanded with a belt sander and the whole thing is finished with four coats of tongue oil. Next is a bookshelf by Chris. This bookshelf features drawboard Morrison tenons, tusked Morrison tenons, and wedged Morrison tenons. It's made from Jara and white oak. 
Chris has a video over on his YouTube channel while making this bookshelf, so be sure to check that out. Last of this week is a Maloof inspired rocker by Nathan. Nathan is 17 years old and he built this Maloof rocker in his small backyard workshop for his senior project in school. So one quick thing I want to let you know about that I'm pretty excited about. This past week Mark and I released the picture frame video series that we did over on the Guild. I shot that with Mark back in August when I was visiting him for a few days and we're both really excited about this because this is the first time we're offering a project in the Guild that is totally free. So you can go over there, you can buy that, buy that project, it's free, you just check out and it's there. So you get an idea of what the, the plans and what the content's like over there without having to actually spend any money. So it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting, some really cool looking frames. And um, did I mention I'm excited about that? <laughs> so I'll leave a link to that down in the thingy, my bobber down there, so you can check that out if you're interested in some more woodworking content. So I think, yeah, I think that's about all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll always be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.